Now I want to show you my very portable setup that I use and I use it no matter whether I'm going to a professional photo shoot or if I'm going traveling which is basically the two things I do. Sometimes I shoot for clients but more often than not I shoot for myself for fun or for our company. So I have transitioned completely to a mirrorless system with the Fujifilm X and Inside the bag, the first thing I have is my camera, the X-Pro2, which is rather a medium-sized mirrorless camera. It's not the smallest, it's not the biggest. It's definitely much smaller than a DSLR. And so that's the first thing in my bag. And the next thing is here, I also carry a long-range zoom, which is a 55-200, which on a crop sensor becomes 300. So you get a very much a high zoom this way. And I also carry my most versatile lens, which is the 50, uh, it's a 1855, which then multiplies to something like 85. And this is the lens I shoot with the most when I'm on the street, or it is really convenient because it gives you from wide angle to something like a natural 35 millimeter look, and all the way to a kind of a shorter range zoom in the 85 millimeter end of it. So this lens is by far the most versatile, by far the one I shoot with the most. But every other one has a purpose. When I do shoot with the zoom lens, it's to obviously get things that are far away. Uh, when I have to shoot something which is on stage where I cannot be, this is the lens I use for such photo shoots. Um, some, like a, I shot a cooking show using this lens. It can also shoot things like sports or concerts. Um, I also have the Prime and the Prime is aperture f2 so this makes it a very good one for low light situations when i'm really running out of my iso limitation and it's also a nice range to get a natural look as well it amounts to around a 50 millimeter i also really like the equivalent of a 35 millimeter lens which i don't have here with me but yeah this is all the optics and my camera body which i get a lot of range from basically something around a 20 for or 28 millimeter all the way to 300 millimeters using just this much and it's not that heavy it's really easily is, is uh, carried across you know planes or whatever long drives doesn't matter um, here I also have the flash which is very compact itself and if I need flash for a photo shoot my camera becomes just this much bigger it's really not that much to carry it's a very nice flash and I have found that Fujifilm is really, really good at fusing the light of its flash with natural light, so it doesn't look uh, washed out or too shiny. It, it has a blend, somehow, a very, very good one. So, yeah, my flash also fits in here. Um, I also have spare batteries, which are able to fit in my bag as well. I have two more and one in the camera as well. So I have three batteries wherever I am normally charged. Um, there are many other side pockets in which I tend to keep filters. This one is, uh, I think, a circular polarizer right here. And I also have ND grad filters for all my lens because this is really a uh, life savior when it comes to landscape photography because the light is almost always blown out. It's, and when you put the ND grad, you kind of compensate for the sun and you get much more color on the foreground. So this is a tip right here, just a few filters, one for each lens will really dramatically ele elevate the quality of your landscape photography. And this is mostly it. Um, my bag is now pretty empty. But another cool thing is you can clamp things to it as well. And this is my jacket, which if it rains, I'm covered. If um, also the bag comes with weatherproofing and that is also here in the pocket. So. My camera is protected, my bag is protected, and my body is protected all on this very minimal setup. And the bag itself, this is the Tenba Messenger bag. Um, I think it's called Messenger DNA 8. And it's a nice shoulder bag. It's also very stylish looking in my opinion. The one that looks the best and really also matches the look of my very stylish X-Pro2. So this way you can fit almost everything you need for a very wide variety of shots and you can put it on your shoulder and go almost anywhere. I can hike with this, I can go to concerts with this, I can go to parties. It doesn't look terrible, I don't look awkward and I don't get too tired.
final bit here is very important because you know these are very expensive pieces of equipment you never want to drop them it costs a lot to repair and for this I have the black rapid which is really really helpful and what you do is you basically strap the camera on and it has the ability to slide up and down so you can still compose your shots while it's kind of sliding and then you can leave it to rest on your body so it will protect your camera you will not have to be scared of dropping it if it drops it will simply drop against your body and it also is secured here by additional strap so it doesn't move around too much this also moves so you're able to set exactly how much you want the camera to be able to move and with this I never have to worry and it's very very convenient for me on the field.